Hi everybody, this is a brief screencast to show you how to find the uh, online Babel readings and um, how to access them so that you can do your readings. Um, first, go to the link that I provided. I've provided this link in a few places, so you'll see I'm currently making the announcement on how to access Beast Club Ray and the online Babel readings, but I've also posted this link in the syllabus and in my welcome announcement and um, I think perhaps somewhere else. So anyway, when you click on this, you're going to come to the Broadview site, and it's going to be the site to like buy the book. And you might be on the description tab, actually, when you arrive. You want to click on the Companion Sites tab. And here you'll see there's a brief explanation of what, what this companion site is. So there's an online resources site, as you can see, and it includes the additional readings and it says an access code to the website is included with all new copies. So if you are someone who bought your Babel new at the bookstore, it will have the access code for this website right here. And then if you bought it used, then you'll need to click on this button to purchase an online code. So I'm going to click on that real quick to show you what that page will look like. It's thinking. All right, so you can see this is the student website passcode for the Babel, and the price is $6.95. If you are looking at something that costs $70, do not buy that. <laughs> That's the whole anthology which you already own at this point. So anyway, you can do this to buy uh, just the access code for the online readings. Um, or if you already have your access code, then you'll just click on this website link right here. All right, so this is what the page will look like where you will enter your access code and you want to go to the member login box and put your access code in there and log in. Um, and then you might not know where to go from here, but even though it doesn't look like the screen changed at all, you want to go to online selections and find our anthology because the access code will work specifically with our anthology, which is the one volume compact edition. So when you click on that, you'll see um, there it's divided up by um, time periods. So Beast Clavre will be in the medieval period. And as I suggested in the announcement, you might want to check the syllabus and see what other online Babel readings we'll be using in the semester, because then you can go ahead and download all of those as well while you're downloading Beast Clavre. And then you don't have to do this again during the semester. Um, and I would suggest that you download them. You don't have to, it won't make you do that, but um, it's just gonna be easier for you if you do. All right, so we are looking for Beast Clavre by Marie de France. And these are in chronological order. So, you know, we've already read Beowulf. You know it's going to be after that. So here we go, Marie de France, Beast Clavre. Notice if you hover over the name of the text, nothing happens. You have to click on the name of the author in order to get to the, the actual text. And then there you go. Uh, so if you're using Chrome, you'll have this download option. If you're using another browser, you might need to do some exploring to figure out how to download from that browser. Um, but once you download it, then you'll have it available to you. And that's how you access the online readings for the online Babel.